coming everyone. Um, it's a bit of a complicated name, but it's just a process and it's a tool. And it's for helping just objectively working through just strategic type decisions. Like if you're going to buy a new tractor or maybe looking at some of these options today or different farming systems. So just briefly touch on the project team. So there's myself and Iona. Um, and then Bex came in as was involved as a facilitator and we can't for Chris, forget Chris who's been great in helping coordinate this and project planning. And again, um, the funders, particularly Doc and especially Rosemary Miller who contacted Iona and I having seen the work we, we did in with a Thai happy group and asked if we could do something for uh, one of the catchments in Dock. And she's been really supportive. And the MCDM stuff's funded by the Our Land and Water. So, just a quick background for what we're doing with the MCDM on this one. So this decision support spreadsheet something I've used in the past, so I've just it up so it could hopefully use, be used on a number of spreadsheet types and is a little bit more user friendly. <coughs> Um, introduce some people to the process and the sheet, get some feedback hopefully from people because I'll, I'm hoping to make it available out to industry for free for anyone that might want to use it. So, uh, so for example, yeah, when I did my postdoc back in 2002, I used it with three farm businesses. Um, and then more recently, Iona and I were involved in a project with some Thai happy farmers where we used this process. Generally, the farmers, some of them, they might be a bit, mm, when you kind of start off, but at the end, they're really quite into it, and they're, oh, they're very busy, and the next thing at the end, oh, they've got lots of time to play sensitivity analysis <laughs> and change things and see what happens. So they kind of like the process. The, Difficult parts often finding it, getting the right information in, but it is something you could use starting at the beginning of a decision if you've got the spreadsheet and you can use it over time rather than just one short session at the end. So it is a mathematical type process. Um, complicated name, and it, but it's used for decisions with multiple conflicting criteria measured in different units. So instead of computing every to money like a cost benefit analysis you can just directly weigh. Ranks the alternatives, uh, the exploring is probably the real strength of it but it helps a lot of them got a better understanding of their own views so that's what it is. Now we go we can stop. Okay so this is the process let's imagine you're kind of thinking about a tractor so you've thought through you identify a problem, you need a new track for some reason. You've identified some alternatives, and you might even throw in an odd one that you're not so sure about. So what's important to you? So maybe your cost, horsepower, how comfortable it is to sit on all day. So some of these um, are subjective, some of these are objective. You can have a range of things. So then you basically Using these criteria, you put a score or a measurement. So your measurements might be your dollars for your price of your tractor, horsepower's a measure, comfort might be a score from one to five, and so on. Then the, uh, the weights, then you decide, do a weighing process to see which is the most important. The crunch is the number, the spreadsheet will crunch the numbers and you'll get a rank, a, and then you can play around and play with the weights and scores and see what difference that makes. So that's the simple version. I won't actually go to the next one. There's a more complicated <laughs> diagram. This came out of a book, some woman that's an expert on this. So basically you'd have probably done this at first, but this just shows that it's quite an iterative process. So doing this can make you rethink that. So anyway, we'll move on. This is just showing you what you need to put in. So you need to put in your alternatives, that's on another sheet, your criteria, what's important, the best possible value and the worst possible value to give you your range. So you see these ones will be scores, because they've just got one to five, possibly that might be comfort, this might be a, like a dollars one. Um, so that's your um, measures, and the next one is the weights. So you've got your different criteria, and as you see, numbers one, and numbers five are the most important. 
relative to that one, to be the difference between best and worst compared to the best ones, this one's not terribly important. Um, so that's a, just that's the trade-off, and the results look like the next one, that. So these are the different criteria. These are the the, the colours show the different criteria. Excuse me, sorry, I'm just going to shut some curtains because it's really, really oh, sorry. messy. Sorry about Sometimes I put in a maximum. That this is a non-existent alternative that's best on everything. Um, but it, what it does show you is what the highest amount that you could get contributed by each of these. So you look at the size of that and say, mm, that's not too bad because that's the maximum you could get. Um, and sometimes it's useful to have a status quo, especially if you're doing something like farm systems. It just gives you a benchmark to think, is that better than what I usually do or worse? And you can flick to the last slide. That's a real life example. Something we did, I think it's one of the round Lake Taupo options. So you see this guy, he's got quite a lot of criteria that's important. Your profit, your labor, sort of family lifestyle things capital, and then of course the environment and compliance. Um, so with him, it's interesting to note his preferred option turned out to be this one. In reality, the profit's not the best, it's, it's not the highest, so it's only that little one, but he's really rates his enjoyment of life quite importantly. And it's this one, he likes beef cattle, obviously, because the ones with the cows in it have a lot more enjoyment than the uh, sheep ones. So that's really, bu that's bumped this one up to being the top one. But that sort of gives you an example of how you can look at it and see why things come out best. Okay, so that's... Um